it's no surprise that our organizations are going through a seismic shift. The way the, that we work is changing. Our workforce is changing. The demands that we have on our workforce and the demands that they have on us. So I would like to start off by sharing just a couple of little stats with you. I'd like to talk about the people deficit and the skills deficit. First, the people deficit. Now, we all know that we are in a critical skills shortage. And we know that we have an aging workforce, right? But did you know that this aging workforce actually comes from the fact that over the next 40 years, there are only going to be about 15% of people entering the workforce as has been entering the workforce over the last 40 years. So we have a supply and demand issue. There are physically not enough people on the planet to take the place of those who are retiring. But not only do we have a people deficit, we have a skills deficit as well. And this comes from the fact that technology and globalization are impacting almost every company, every industry certainly that we work with. Technology, yes, the robots are coming for some of our jobs, but more significantly, technology will be augmenting our, the way that we work, the jobs that we have on offer. And the, because they're changing so rapidly, that's creating a talent mismatch. The people in the marketplace with the skills on offer are increasingly different than the skills that we need. This talent mismatch, the Australian Bureau of Statistics actually says that by the year 2025, we could have up to 1.4 million jobs for which we cannot find qualified candidates. That's why we started looking at employee experience. Now, employee experience is such a new topic that we can't even agree on the definition. Some, as, as we started the qualitative research, some people that I talked to said that employee experience, well, that's just a fancy new word for employee engagement, isn't it? Others say employee experience is the natural progression from the customer experience journey that many of our organizations have been on. And they look at employee experience as employees as the internal customers. How does the employee experience their HR department? How do they experience being able to access processes and practices such as onboarding and technology? But we like to think of employee experience in a much more holistic way. Our definition of employee experience is that it's the lens through which we look at every interaction that the employee has from the time that they make the application into our organizations until the exit interview.